Aloha Aina. I'm Ehuke Kahu Kardwa with the Kiwani Foundation right here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Well, mahalo to all of you who responded to our Free Hawaii TV video, 50 Years of Lies. Some of you asked how a small group of foreign businessmen could overthrow a nation like Hawaii. Well, here's what happened. A small group of rich sugar barons who were tired of paying tariffs on the sugar they shipped to the U.S. concocted a plan to overthrow Hawaii's queen. See, if Hawaii was made part of the U.S., they would no longer need to pay those tariffs. So they convinced some U.S. Marines on a ship tied up at Pearl Harbor to come ashore and point large guns and cannons at Iolani Palace. They then threatened the queen with violence and bloodshed if she did not abdicate her throne. Well, to avoid the bloodshed of her beloved citizens, she temporarily stepped aside. These thieves then formed what they called a provisional government and tried to get a treaty of annexation passed in the U.S. Senate to make Hawaii part of the U.S. That failed when Hawaii's queen traveled to Washington, D.C. with the Kuwait petitions and showed the senators that 98% of all Hawaiians alive at the time were against it. These same thieves then reincorporated themselves into what they called the Republic of Hawaii. But the Republic of Hawaii was comprised of less than 4,000 people who were mostly white U.S. citizens who had moved to Hawaii. Now compare that to the 45,000 citizens of the Hawaiian Kingdom. It was the Republic of Hawaii who later gave the ceded lands to the U.S. through the Newlands Resolution. But according to the U.S. Constitution, a resolution cannot be used to acquire foreign territory. So the Newlands Resolution is not law. It's only a receipt for the sale and transfer of stolen land. I'm Ehuke Kahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.